Why hello, it is Jono. <laughs> I thought I'd make a video on um, car engines, or I say a video, it's just a very brief fun video just showing how the basics of how car engines are made in video games for um, using in Unity and I'm using something called WYS which is a, a middleware software package that implements audio and music, it's truly, truly wonderful. Um, I'm in no way a professional with making car engines and recording car engines and implementing them is actually one of the hardest things that you can do in game audio. It's actually insane and you could spend a hundred grand on recording a car engine and I don't have a hundred grand to spend on a car engine. Um, so what I've done is I've created some loops and basically essentially blending through different loops. and. I think the first thing, I'm just going to actually go into game mode, show you an engine, just ponce about and drive up and down and, and you can hear it kind of working. And then I'll go into wise quickly and show you kind of how it kind of works. But yes, right, bear in mind, this is, well, you can judge me all you want if you want. <laughs> but you know, it is my first attempt. So here's a police car and what happens is we're going to sit at idle, just like you would in a real car. So I'm going to use WSAD for forward and back and left to right. And then as I go forward, the acceleration is going to kick in and then it will change gears. Now I could talk all day about the problems that you have with deceleration and loops and all this kind of stuff. But um, one other little feature here, we've got a siren and a turbo booster, like a, a nitro boost. So if I hit this, and then this. <laughs> Obviously, skid marks and all sorts of stuff that you can implement. This middleware is endless, but just basically having a quick look at the engine. Um, I'm gonna press stop on here now and with WISE, let me uh, get this up. So basically how this is working is that in WISE we have something called a blend container. Now I'm not gonna go into the ins and outs of how the hierarchy works and all that kind of stuff, but as time goes on, I might do some videos on, on WISE because it's truly amazing, especially if you're getting into game audio, you should definitely learn WISE. Um, Right, so I've got an engine. I've got two actually, I've got a rally car engine and a police car, but we're gonna stick with the police car because that's what I've just shown a very rough working of. Um, so in here we have our offload samples and our onload samples. When you import audio into WISE, it turns an audio sample into something called a sound SFX file, and it also keeps your original files as well, which is useful. Um, it's important to have an idle sound. This is basically called an RPM loop-based system. You can do another system using um, ramps, acceleration ramps, and there's a wonderful plugin in Unity called Rev. I think the license is 15 grand if you're feeling flush to use that. But um, tried and tested method is to use a loop based system. So you're essentially, you have an idle state and you would probably have an, a car starting state as well. It depends, it really, like I say, this stuff can go on and on and as deep as you want it to, or as deep as the game developers want you to. Um, so we would typically start with an idle sound and then we would go through different RPM bands, they're called steadies. And um, what you do essentially is you cross fade, you use equal power and you cross fade between each steady to actually give you a smooth transition, which is, I've, it's mine is semi-smooth. Like creating loops out of engines is actually insanely difficult because engines fluctuate and they're like living, organisms they just you know you have to let them warm up you have to record them in the right way you have to have the right microphones when you find a, a, a loop and the pistons are firing in a certain sequence you have to make sure the loop actually matches the sequence if you pitch your stuff harmonics change it on it it's truly a nightmare but for the the practicality and the principle of this let's have a little look in the blend container so you can, the, the visualization shows you a lot more than me just talking. You can see here that we have engine load and engine load is measured on minus one to one. 
Um, but we then have RPM, which is measured um, up to 5,000. So um, as you can see here, RPM, zero RPM and 5,000 RPM. We can test what this sounds like by me hitting spacebar. And that's our idle loop. And basically nothing happens until we get to 1,000 RPM. I want this to just literally be on idle. And then when we get to 1,000 RPM, You get the idea. Yes, well, that is a quick look at an engine in WISE and it working in Unity and stuff like that. It's very brief, but as time goes on, I might make some more videos on this. It depends. I'm making a video game myself and there may be, I don't want to give too much away, there may be engines in that. <laughs> but um, I guess it's um, important to note, actually, if you're going to create an engine system using WISE or FMOD, um, it really depends on the game. If you're creating a car engine, a, a race simulator, like Project Cars or something amazing like that, then you could spend so long, so many years perfecting, like trade secrets that nobody even knows about um, to create engines. If you're creating something like Mario Kart, <laughs> right, then you don't actually need huge amounts of um, RPM steady loops and all this kind of stuff. You can get away because it's an arcadey kind of thing. So it really is contextual and depends. But for a first attempt, I'm quite happy with this. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video.